The funky little CHR compact SUV has been an unmitigated success for Toyota, and now it's been given an update. It's got new stuff inside, subtle changes to the exterior, but most importantly, you can get it with a hybrid powertrain. Question is, is it worth the extra 2,500 bucks? I've never been a huge fan of Toyota's self-charging hybrid systems, which use the engine, and therefore fossil fuel, to charge the battery. It all sounds a bit counterintuitive. But even on open country roads driving at higher speeds, I managed to get impressively low fuel consumption figures. Motivation is a bit sluggish, especially uphill, but if you're not worried about winning every traffic light tango, the hybrid will have appeal given its ability to reduce your fuel bill and CO2 emissions. So is it worth the extra 2,500 bucks? Well, it depends on your weekly driving routine. If you're commuting and spending most of your time in suburbia, it's a sound option. But $2,500 will buy you a lot of fuel. And if you don't have climate change guilt, the 1.2 litre turbo petrol engine is still a good choice. It's a handy machine around town, the elevated ride height providing improved vision, and there's a handful of meaningful new features that add a bit more appeal for this compact SUV. It starts with this new 8-inch touchscreen infotainment display, which, mercifully, now includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The funky design translates to the interior too, and there's a really nice attention to detail here. You've got these interesting scallops in the roof, the way the door innards have the interesting textures, even the dashboard, the way it flows, the way these plastics are curved. It's really cool, and it feels more like an upmarket interior than just some bodgy little Toyota. The leather accented sports seats look and feel great, but it's not perfect. There's only one USB port up front, there's no wireless phone charger, and there's no digital radio either. These things should probably be in a car that costs more than 30 grand. Legroom is pretty good for a compact SUV, but headroom is a little tight with this sloping roof, and the big C pillar makes things a bit claustrophobic. There's also no air vents. Boot space is not the CHR's forte, but look, it's a compact SUV. What do you expect? Toyota has affected a couple of tweaks to the design too. You'll need a trained eye to spot the differences in the updated CHR, but they are there, and it's here in the headlight clusters. There are also changes to the alloy wheels, and the brake lights at the rear have been given a frosted look as well. Rivals like the Mazda CX-3, Hyundai Kona and Mitsubishi ASX continue to rule the compact SUV roost. But the trendy little CHR is the first to offer a relatively affordable hybrid powertrain. The CHR was a good machine to start with, and though small in number, the updates to the new model make a positive difference to the drive experience. <laughs> 